If you want the full reaction video, it's linked in the description on an external link because copyrights YouTube. Um, I do appreciate your guys' feedback on that in the first one. I think we will definitely do the rest of the season, but obviously we don't want to get dinged with strikes left, right and centre. Watch the full episode in the link below, um, and then come back for the discussion and subscribe to get the rest of the season, I guess. Yeah. So That's I was right. Awful. I was right about Reiner. You were right about Reiner. I mean, ridiculous that he still did survive when you saw his head. And then all because of a consciousness transfer, which is pretty impressive. Have to give him that. But oh my god, that was horrific. I wonder if he'll be able to fully heal from that. Like, does it Probably heal not. perfectly when it's that devastating an um, injury, like in the brain? Because the brain's a pretty complex organ. Yeah, but if he transferred his consciousness, then maybe. Don't know, man. Don't know. But, but I'm, I wasn't shocked that he was still alive somehow. Because just the way yeah. they did it was like, nah, he can't actually be dead yet. I can't but, believe the difference in Bertol. What the way that he went about things? The way he went about things, his attitude towards things. Yeah, he's. It was a lot different from the Bertol that we've known before. Well, no, because I suppose in. He's never been alone to do things the same way. Like no, Rainer was just out of really... out of the scene. Yeah. So it was really down to him. So he uh-huh. had to be really step up, which he's not obviously had to before. Yeah, because he was always a sort of quiet background. Like went with whatever Rainer was yeah. doing, and then suddenly he, it was all up to him. So he was like, "Shit, I need to get in control." Yeah. And. Yeah. And do my thing. He was he, he's still such an interesting character. I do kinda want him to die, but I think I'll still be sort of like upset. Conflicted uh, by it, because I'm like, oh that's another good character to lose. Yeah. But the path they're on is inevitably gonna end that way. It was very interesting to see that flashback with Marco. And Annie. Hmm. That's what we were talking about just after. Yeah. Um yeah, I was surprised to see Annie more conflicted than she was earlier portrayed because earlier it seemed like she was totally in on the plan, it didn't phase her this was just how things were No, because when she fought Aaron at the end of like, well not really the end of the first season it was the end of the first season actually yeah, yeah, yeah she she did seem very very in control Yeah, but this Except this for her Annie, crazy laugh Apart from her crazy laugh, but this yeah. didn't um portray her as being in control at all. No, she just kind of sucked it up, but she was really like, I don't want to be involved in this, this is horrible. Yeah. But they were basically, like, they've obviously been indoctrinated for so long that the humans inside the walls are evil incarnate, essentially. Yeah. Like, not through any fault of the humans inside the walls own doing, it's just, that's the way that they are. Yeah. Because <laughs> even Vertol was like, you're my comrades, but I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Because this just has to happen because you guys are all fucked. Yeah. So I want to know what the hell the Beast Titan's been putting in their brains. He obviously seems to believe in it too. Yeah. I don't want to tell you who he is. I know who he is, the Beast oh, Titan. Oh, no. Yeah. Because I had I, to- I had it spoiled in the season two reactions. It's okay. There's a thing that I know that you apparently don't know, so <laughs> I'm not gonna We're tell just you that. A vow of silence. A vow of silence until it happens. Until it happens and then just be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. But you can see the resemblance to Aaron's dad, but it isn't Aaron's dad. Aaron's dad's not about. <laughs> okay. Because he doesn't have blonde hair. Unless he just dyed it, but it's not. It's not him. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, that's really exciting. The fact that their tea does tight, weird Titan shit, exciting. Yeah, they're they're happy. The improvements on the animation of the Colossal Titan. Yeah. Oh boy, he looks cool. He seems like scary. Though. Yeah. The way that he moves is like more disjointed in a way. Like he still moves kind of slow mm-hmm. because he's so big. But the way that he moves so slowly, it almost seems disjointed. The way that it would be in a horror film. Yeah, and, and that he makes also him has worse. full advantage of the terrain because he's got the wall. He's got all these houses that he can flatten, batter mm-hmm. about the place. I don't think he was even leaning against anything actually. He wasn't. He was standing. No, which like, I think is the first standing. time we've seen him 
full colossal titan mode and not be reliant on the wall in some way to like stay up right yeah he stood mm-hmm. on his old two legs yes he, him stood <laughs> i mean obviously he can't do much running but he can he can throw like burn that whole bit down if he wants to like create a pompey kind of scenario <laughs> yeah and then when um john i guess jean john jean john <laughs> um when armin was like We'll go and recoup with Erwin. And John was like, you can't do that because then he'll start throwing shit over the wall and then we're stuck between this fire and, and everything the out there. Time. Yeah, this is going to be a clusterfuck. Like, I'm glad. This is going to be hellish. I'm glad that Armin, as much as he's super smart and whatnot, he was obviously like, genuinely so scared that like moment to have pressure. the responsibility for everyone that was left. Yeah, he was totally under and pressure and like, he crumbled. Yeah, he was like, no, back to Erwin. It was nice to see that hesitation. Yeah. Um, and then obviously other team players stepped up there and were like no look, listen if you do that this is what's going to happen we yeah. have to stop the Colossal Titan here and now yeah which is scary because it's like you know what the, What was that five of them five Sasha and, um, Connie Mikasa John and Armin yeah. and then Ern in yeah. Titan mode in Titan mode who, so, I like, feel like it's not going to be very useful against the Colossal Titan no, and Titan because, mode at all. Like, he's useful against the Armour Titan because they're a similar size. They know better. Similar size as well. Yeah, but the Colossal Titan, you can't get close to him because he's so hot. Yeah. All like, he could do is probably pull his leg and his... annoy him. That's about it. No, because he won't be able to touch it. True. Because it burns. But he's a big they're gross fucked. boy. <laughs> Mikasa will definitely want to. We'll try and murder him. Mikasa, when she. <laughs> Appeared behind. She, she likes doing that. She likes just oh, appearing behind. She's such a good little assassin. I stand. I love how there's even like a specific Mikasa shot transition where you just know that like, you don't actually see the character, but you know just the way that like the twist happens. It's like that's Mikasa, and then it cuts uh-huh. and you're like, oh yeah. And then it cuts and she's like, this, yeah. And you're like that's my bitch. <laughs> yeah. She has quite a unique style. Yeah. Oh man, I'm worried as fuck on so many fronts, and I don't know why they think. Hanji? Why I'm worried about Hanji. Yeah. Um, I don't think she's dead, no. but she may be quite injured. Um, and the little lad that like shielded her might be dead. Yeah. I feel like don't that's know. that's probably inevitable. I don't think they would have killed Henry off like that. No, again, it's the same way with Reiner. I feel like there would be more to it than that. Yeah. Reiner's just gonna obviously lay on his his back, do we sleep? <laughs> do a little heel together. Yeah, I yeah. hope that they haven't lost like everyone inside the wall other than the main lads. That would be terrible. I feel like no, but at the same time, <laughs> same time they've got it's all these inexperienced like scouts that don't know what the fuck they're doing, yeah. and suddenly they're thrown into like hell essentially. Yeah, and it's Attack on Titan. They don't exactly uh, hold back from murder, like, killing everyone. Yeah, so. fucking hell. It was dark. Well, it was actually pretty bright when. Colossal Titan came out and there was flamies. <laughs> flamies. Oh. This is horrific. I, this is a nightmare situation. It is literally the worst possible scenario. Yeah. And I'm worried about that. Why do they. What do they think Chris is gonna. Sorry. The story is gonna want to come with them. Fuck that. She'll literally be like, no. Bitch, I'm the queen now. I don't think they know about any of that. No. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, it's fine. We'll just go pick pick her up from the city. <laughs> She'll be with the little squad, so we'll just yeah. skip her up because she's so fucking small. And she's just... obviously, like, so precious and innocent. And why would she not come with us? Why would she not? Because <laughs> we're so charming. Yeah, and then she's just like... Bitch, I'm a motherfucking queen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't touch me. Yeah. She just bats them with like her royal cape. <laughs> She's got like one of those fancy fans, not the ones that like go out like that, but is permanently just the circle. Oh, yeah, okay. and she just batters them with it. I nearly made a Naruto reference, but you wouldn't even get it. I wouldn't it. get it. Everyone else would, but I wouldn't. Yeah, that's sad. Do you know who Tamari is if I say that? No. Okay, well, <laughs> the reference fell flat. Rip. What are you expecting from the next episode though? Death. Just based on that preview. Just death. Looks like we're going to cut back to Beast Titan fun times with the backpack yeah, Titan and co. <laughs> what are in the rest of the barrels though? Is there more people in the barrels? No, I think that was the only person in a barrel. 
That must have been such a weird like experience, just being in a barrel <laughs> on the just back of a like Titan. This. Yeah. Oh god, they're going if there is though, he's just gonna start eating like like a Pokemon basically. It's like here's my water type Titan. <laughs> uh, I choose you, Bertel. Literally. <laughs> Uh, well, this is a tangent. I don't think that we <laughs> didn't think we'd put it in that one, but there you go. Me neither. What if he, well, we know he's such a good thrower, but I was gonna say, imagine he just is off his game for one shot and like batters one of them into the wall. Oh god! It's like, <laughs> and then it just goes black and white, and then it just goes wasted. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! If only Attack of Titan was just the comedic romp, then that maybe would be what would happen. But that's not what's going to happen at all. That's not what's going to happen. I think there's going to be a lot of death. Yeah. I think we might find out a little bit more. You're going to yeah. do a yawn. I'm going to do a yawn. You concealed that really well. Thank you. Yeah. I don't like to yawn really loudly in the microphone. It's kind of rude. But so yeah, maybe we should wrap up the discussion yeah. wrap up. here. What do you expect from the next episode before we wrap up? Literally exactly the same as you. Just death. death. A lot of death. Just death. Yeah. A lot of death and some epic music. Yeah. That's all I really ask for, to be honest. <laughs> it's a very basic request. Yeah. 